Hey fans, welcome back to Fuzzy TV, another segment of Transfer News, and I got a special segment today for you guys. It's about Gareth Bale. So, sorry if I gotta look down a lot, but you guys will enjoy this a lot. So, anybody, can you guess where Bale come from, <coughs> where he started his career, and at what age? So this guy started at 16 years old and 275 days before his birthday. He started his first game, first game for Southampton behind Theo Walker. Can you believe Theo Walker came from Southampton? You know what? I'm actually now trying to think that Southampton has created a lot of great talent, but they just didn't know, so they sold it to play to coaches. They actually knew that they were great. Anyways, this guy scored his first goal. <coughs> versus Derby Country. That's freaking awesome. Great season for him that year in 2006, April 17th, his first start. And in 2006, in April, he scored his first goal versus Derby Country. This guy is an amazing player. And you know what? There is more. So in 2006, May 26, Bale got his debut for Wales at age of 16 and 315 days before his birthday. And guess what? He scored his first goal for Wales in October 6, 2007, and it was his free kick. What an amazing way to start scoring a goal for your home team, or you know, your country team, especially with the free kick versus Slovenia. He started right there with his free kicks. That was just awesome, and I'm glad that Bale freaking got good. In 2007, May 25th, Garrett Bale has officially was signed for Tottenham for 5 million years, and right after the signing, Tottenham raised the price to 15 million pounds. That's nuts. He's freaking amazing player. Just moved from Southampton to Tottenham and already got his price 10 million euros up. That's crazy. All right, so in August 2006, 2007, well, sorry, in August 26th, on my birthday in 2007, he officially made his first debut versus Manchester United and he scored his first goal against Fulham that same year. Wow. You know what, Gareth Bale, you got a lot of talent. And then in October 20th, 2010, Gareth Bale has scored his first goal in Championship League versus Twente, and then he scored his first senior hat-trick versus Inter. What an amazing season for that guy. In 2013, 20, uh, 2013 April 28th, the guy officially got the Player of the Year, the PFA Award, the Player Writers Award, you know, the guy, the Best Player of the Year Award, so he got shitload of trophies, and now Real Madrid and Manchester United really wanted to sign the guy, and it looks like the man is leaving to Real Madrid, so have a good one at Real Madrid, I hope you have a great season down there, and I hope you become better player than anyone right now I'm, I'm actually hoping that you become better than Messi or Ronaldo I know it might not happen but I'm praying for that all right so let's go to Arsenal's uh, leftover striker Bentner he's officially on the list of Crystal Palace and freaking West Brom okay he's only three million pounds if Crystal Palace gets some wood chamak right there that's it that's the relegation zone out of the league. They're in there in the top 10, 15. I know the Crystal Palace need this guy. And if Bentner goes down there, that's going to be the team. All right, so Fabio Barini will not be leaving Liverpool this season because Brendan Rodgers has in mind that he might actually start for Liverpool a lot as a winger or as a striker or as a center. Attack him mid, you know, this guy's an amazing talent. Barini has played at Swansea for Rodgers, and Rodgers will not let go of his number one man from Swansea. All right, so Swansea is going after Adam Wing, and Adam Wing says that he really actually want to move to Swansea. Swansea would actually need another striker because if there's injuries for Michu and Boney, this guy would be a great replacement. What do you guys think? Comment below. All right, so Tottenham is actually already talking contract with Christian Eriksen. They got the money. They got the contract in hand. Christian Eriksen already flew down to Tottenham to talk about his contract. This man would be an amazing substitute for Gareth Bale. Please come to Tottenham and be in the Premier League. Be one of the best, man. All right, so let's go down to Fiorentina, where Fiorentina has officially signed... Um, Ante Rebic, I, I've seen one of your one of my fans co comment down and said talk about this guy. Whoa, what an amazing striker! 21 years old. You know what? Fiorentina just sold Zajic to Roma, so they got this guy as a replacement. Great re replacement, seven million euros. 
He's worth it. Right? So Roma is, is confirming. It's it's real. Eric Lamella <coughs> is Tottenham player. Fuck yeah. Eric Lamella will progress even more at Tottenham in Premier League. And he will be a great substitute for Bale. So you know what? If you're a Tottenham fan, don't worry no more. Bale is just one player. Now we got like five players that can complete the midfield. That can fight for that Premier League. And that will happen. So lots are closing in on freaking Gilmar. And this is going to be the deal. I'm so happy. But you know what? Lazio has to fork out 15 million pounds for this guy. Well, euros. And that's a lot for Ilmar because he's 28 and you know what, he did great in Championship League but there's no promise that he will do great in Serie A. Comment below and tell me will he be a fail. Right, so Tottenham is actually ready to put in 15 million pounds for Chicharito. Whoa, would Chicharito be a great add-on? Comment below and tell me because you know what, I think Chicharito is a great player and he would be amazing at Tottenham especially since uh, Adebayor is getting old and you know, uh, Defoe is just out of the league now for us. So, Chicharito, if you want your first spot, go to Tottenham. Alright, so Manchester City officially signed Di Michaelis, a 32-year-old defender that went for free to Atletico Madrid. And now he said, I want to leave. So he's going to be there at Manchester City since company injury and a stoppage injury. This guy will be a great substitute for those two guys. So guess who got the award for Championship League Best Player of the Year? Ribery, yes, finally, Messi lost it, Ronaldo lost it, finally, the guy that deserves it, Ribery, I actually thought Robin would deserve it, but, great player, great freaking winner for Bayern Munich, I will never say bad things about, well, yeah, he's a douchebag sometimes when he tackles, but, great talent, great player, this is it, hope you guys enjoy my news, and see you later.